Welcome to Eva Talks, a weekly podcast about the law of attraction and more. Enjoy today's episode. Good morning, everybody. Here is Eva Speaks Again, the evaluation phase of a COVID narcissist. As you probably listened in my previous podcast, I was talking about the love bombing phase of a COVID narcissist. This is the second stage of the toxic relationship. Devaluation is one of the three phases of a relationship with a narcissist and it is the most painful part for the victim. I call it victim as it targets the emotional and mental health of a person. The beginnings of a relationship with a narcissist can be incredible. You will feel like being struck by pure luck. This is how well narcissists are capable of getting under your skin when they believe you can be of use. However, once the narcissist realizes that you are not what he or she imagined or you can't help him or her reach the desired goals, the devaluation phase will begin and sometimes it takes years. Or the narcissist will do this just to sing his or her hooks into your deeper, grabbing a hold of your entire life and sanity. It's worth mentioning that a relationship with a narcissist will never lead to anything good. Narcissists are incapable of feeling empathy or establishing a real emotional relationship with another human being. Narcissism is a disorder, so you can't fix a narcissist by showing this person love and understanding. This is why relationships with narcissists are toxic and could even threaten your health and life, as this type of person is capable of anything to get what they want. They always end up abusing their partners, whether it's emotionally, mentally or physically. Thus, devaluation is also abuse, being the phase when the narcissist does everything to tear down his or her victim from an emotional point of view. During the devaluation phase, The narcissist can make you doubt your self-value and worse. You will be manipulated at an emotional level and even insulted, directly or indirectly, until you are made to believe you don't deserve better. A narcissist can mess up with someone's mind and emotions until the person will think that he or she is not capable of finding a better partner, or even worse, A narcissist can make you believe you are not worthy of someone's affection and love. This is how badly they can affect one's self-esteem. Why are narcissists adopting such a strategy? Even if a narcissist can't and will never love you, he or she will not want you to go either. They are afraid of failure and hate it so they will not accept someone walking out on them. They will try to make you stay by seeing false ideas and beliefs about yourself in your mind. They control everything. This explains why victims choose to stay in a toxic relationship despite the disadvantages and threats. Certain narcissists can also be sociopaths or psychopaths, which means they will create a specific plan meant to manipulate their partners until their way is made. Also, believe it or not, some narcissists don't even recognize what they are doing. This part of the abuse cycle is so natural to them that they don't see it as something defined and voluntary. Unfortunately, narcissists naturally behave this way. It comes easy for them because it's embedded in their disorder. No matter how hard you try to please a narcissist and make him or her happy, during the devaluating phase, he or she will stop being kind or even polite to you. The first reaction is to be stunned by the person standing in front of you, considering the wonderful man or woman you met a while ago. Narcissists are transformed by their interests, not love for an individual. This is what explains this extreme turnaround in their behavior and attitude. To protect yourself and have the chance to live a happy life, you need to step out of a toxic relationship 
as soon as you see signs it is so this was for today and of course i will speak to you next week on the topic about the last phase of this toxic relationship and this is the discarding phase of a covert narcissist thank you very much once more for listening and i will speak to you next week bye bye